Welcome Capricorn to your reading for January 15th to the 31st, 2022. But of course, anytime you come to this reading is the right time for you. I left this devil card out because it flopped out while I was shuffling and I'll, that's your card. So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna leave it out there. We call in our guides, our angels, our ancestors. Remember to do your prayers to help your guides to see if this is the reading for you and to be discerning. If you need a personalized reading, you can reach out, reach out below and then you will be catered to in that way if you don't hear your story here. I'm going to ask my guides, my angels, my elevated ancestors to help me put my ego aside. Help me be a divine channel today. I ask that this space, this video be imbued with healing and support in a mutual way. All right. What is the What are the messages here for Capricorn? What are the messages for Capricorn? Okay, I feel like the month of January in general has created some indecision here or some worry. There's some mental activity at the beginning of it, right? And I know this is not the reading for the beginning of January, but this is what I'm tap tapping into for you all. I'm feeling like there's something in your season that is just, yeah, there's like, like, there's some kind of indecision here. Hmm. Some of you might be feeling trapped or thinking about a situation that just doesn't fit for you anymore. And it might be a relationship. And your guides are saying like, you know, trust who you are inside like trust this queen of wands it's like you might have a fire energy in your chart as well or you could be dealing with a fire sign of some sort I think some of you are really fearing, having a lot of fear. There's a lot of fear here that I'm picking up on. It's like the fear of not having enough, the fear of someone passing away, the fear of, you know, being trapped, the fear that things won't be the way that you need them to be or want them to be, the fear that you won't be loved and appreciated, or just like the fear that you're not going to ever be able to change. There's a conversation that needs to happen. There's a truth that needs to be revealed about cheating or wanting to cheat or somebody cheating. Oh, I do not like saying stuff like that. It's just coming out of my mouth, okay? I really don't like to talk about that kind of stuff because I feel like it creates a level of anxiety and worry if we're not sure and we've been questioning. But I do feel like either you're worried about that or it's something that's happening and we don't have control over these things right if it's not information that you already know then yeah you might just be worried about it okay so let's put that out there you might you could this could be worry that you have and it might not be true but the thing is is that regardless if it's true or not we have to base this on what we already know so if you're in a place where you're like guessing that that's what's happening or you're wondering it's okay to trust your intuition but maybe not taking any immediate actions and letting things surface that need to. Okay, but there's some kind of dishonesty here, something that's kind of like a little confusing that's happening and it's creating like a level of unrest and discomfort and it might be something that you don't want to look at. You might be like, like, Maybe somebody is, act maybe it's you that's cheating or maybe you want to or like somebody's coming into your life that 
you want to connect to and you might feel like or you're talking with somebody you're flirting with somebody on the side of your relationship or that person is and regardless of what it is whether it's you or the other person in your relationship or situationship time will reveal these things for your highest good okay and there will be some kind of change there will be a release like even if it's okay let's say you're in this relationship and you want to leave it and you start flirting with someone to kind of self-sabotage or to kind of like ruin the relationship so that you can move on or you kind of start distancing yourself and you're not communicating with your partner and then they ended up cheating and then you know it ruins the relationship it's something like that it's like it's being manifested because people are discontent they're not interested in this anymore and maybe you felt trapped or this person feels trapped but i feel like you're feeling trapped whether you're feeling trapped by your own decisions or the fact that you don't want this relationship anymore but you're just tied to them maybe they like help you financially or something like that everybody wants to move on though i feel like everyone does want to move please do not come for me if this is not about you okay like if this is not your relationship don't worry about it you're gonna be fine okay i know that we all get anxiety sometimes and we go through those periods of like is this for me should i stay here are they cheating like those could be anxious thoughts and i could be picking up on anxiety but i don't think so i think this is a real situation where our relationship might be coming to a close as I pull the tower card. Yes, a quick ending. Something is revealed. Something that you kind of knew, whether it was something that somebody told you or something that you, you knew, not like gossip told you, but like somebody might have, like your partner may have already been clear about this or it's something that you have been engaging with and it just, it just makes it break. It just breaks it open. It just breaks it open. It's stressful. Nobody likes this. You know, you're, you may bring up like a lot of insecurities about yourself. You might feel like you're not. Yeah, it might just bring up old stuff, like times that where you thought that you were not where you might have been told really mean things or like the stuff that you used to think in the past or, you know, it's going to bring up a lot of stuff, but you're going to get a new perspective. You're going to see everything in a different light. You're going to see everything in a different light. You're going to give up on working so hard. You're going to stop working so hard. You've been working really hard. You or this person or both of you or whatever has just been like talking things through, trying to make it happen, trying to do this thing, trying to make... It's just like not worth that much energy. Like you're just putting in so much. So it could be just a transformation of the relationship itself. It doesn't have to be that anybody's cheating or anything like that. It could have been just like somebody flirting with somebody and like, you know... kind of pulling away so maybe this is about you needing to be independent embark on your own and have something for yourself that doesn't involve your partner you know maybe it's about starting a business maybe it's about answering a certain higher call with the two of wands this is, could be somebody that you're talking to on the internet or like a business you're trying to start or something you're trying to do to reach the world in some way and i feel like you could be like helping others maybe like sharing something of your own insecurities and past and how you overcame it we have the emperor here and like i said some of you might have fire in your chart this could be aries energy this could also be a father figure or like something around a father figure really creating change for you or repeating a cycle from the ways that you engaged repeating a cycle of something in your family essentially but you're letting go. You're letting go of something. Something, someone, some situation, some old way of doing things, some old thing about being like some old romantic idea, you know, and you're stepping back into like giving to yourself. You're Some of you are healing your inner child. You're learning like the things that you did as a child and like you're resurfacing your truth. You're resurfacing your power, you're remembering that, that you can receive and you are going through stress. Like some of you are in your head about something, stressed out, staying up really late, you know, feeling defensive, you know, and feeling like you're not being helped at all, feeling like people might be not getting along around you. Maybe you're worried too that there are people around you not getting along, like family members or friends that are separated in some way and you're taking it on 
and you want to know how to help everybody and bring everybody together but you're going through your own thing you're going through your own thing you're going through your own stuff but you will prevail you will come out of this like a lot stronger and it's not like oh this long intense road like it's almost like letting go of whatever you need to let go of like i said whether it's communicating something releasing something changing a mindset or changing their relationship transforming the relationship or ending the relationship whatever change it is it brings it like makes room for you to fully unfold and blossom into your truth which has been there all along you know, like you haven't been taking this opportunity to be in your truth because something is holding you back and that thing is about to move. You know, that thing is about to move pretty hard. And I feel like some of you are feeling a little cold-hearted about something. Or maybe somebody made you feel like they don't care. And, or you feel this way. I'm not saying they made you feel this way, okay? You felt some type of way about somebody. They made you feel like kind of shut out or they hurt your feelings or something. And you were just like, I hate you. I'm never talking to you again. But like that person also is coming back to like heal something to offer you love. And you might be in, you might have been grieving them. You're like I'm already done. I'm like done. I feel like it could be a friendship or something. It could be a family member. You may look to, like, you might get help from an un unsuspecting unsus force. Like, maybe somebody you weren't that close with, but you're going to get close with again. They could be in your family or friend group or someone you know at work or somebody you knew from your past. And they can help you. They can help you to, to like, figure out your stuff. Like, you might be like, all right, I'm finally ready to, like, embark on this journey or do this thing and maybe detach from some kind of codependent dynamic in your relationship to like focus on your business or craft or you know some kind of creativity and this person might come in and be like all right I got you I've always been here to help you but like maybe in the past it was just not the time you know because they were kind of acting bougie or something but really they were just going through their own stuff they were just going through their own stuff and that energy might have come off like they were standoffish or something, but they were just self-absorbed. I think your guides are going to help you with the relationship thing if you let them by following your intuition on working on your money stuff. Like there's stuff around money coming in like there's like an opportunity coming towards you regarding money and and like you just have to trust to do it you know because it's gonna make you feel better about yourself it's gonna actually make you be seen and it's gonna make you feel better about yourself like you're gonna like trust yourself and you'll stop relying on your relationship to like give you that sense of validation and you'll actually be like in a better headspace so even if there is quote-unquote cheating or somebody's flirting or whatever like you might be able to move through that in a peaceful way and heal what that was because it might not even be because you don't love each other you know it might just be because somebody's feeling underappreciated or not, or like they're they're doing a lot like there's like there's like an imbalance you know and i think that you might just be like working towards your higher self like becoming more of your truth and aligning i guess aligning yeah i'm feeling like you're a walk some of you are walking away though some of you are fixing things some of you, some of you will take the slow path there some of you will figure out what you need and mend it or whatever and hold on others may just walk away from a situation or an experience just to retain balance in your life again you know and like embark on some new journey where you're given a gift and you take it and you you listen to it and you do it like some kind of business or money related thing. Somebody's like, hey, do this. And you're like, all right. And, and it's like, 
you're gonna lead something you're leading other people you might be leading leading like a moon circle or something around some kind of moon thing you might be helping others in some way and it's gonna be the kind of thing where you're not doing a lot of work like you've already done the hard work for this this is like something that's just gonna come it's just, you're just gonna step into your power with it like it's gonna seem like it's the beginning of something you're like oh i've never done this or let's see maybe it'll be fine or like i don't know and like you take the opportunity and you're like oh wow um how am i amazing at this <laughs> you're gonna take it you're gonna be like how am i how am i like just amazing <laughs> you're just like i'm really good how did this happen yeah, it's going to put an end to the way that you used to think about things. You had a certain view about this, whatever this opportunity it is. You used to think like, oh, to do this, you have to do this, this, and this. And your guides are like, you don't even have to No. What's your path is your path. What is, what is yours is yours. It's predestined. You know? It's just like, it's predestined. You're ready to move into that space. You're ready to say goodbye to like small fry. You're ready to start this new journey. You're being blessed. You're like being blessed so strongly to embark on this new thing. It's going to be so emotionally fulfilling. Like so emotionally fulfilling. And you're going to be very victorious in it. So whatever this opportunity is that comes along, don't put anything else in front of it. Take the opportunity. It will nourish you. It will bring your best self out. It will show you what you're worth and what you're made of because it will remind you that that's been inside of you this whole time. It's something that might be dormant. So then you'll be asked to do something or you'll be put in a certain position and you're like, oh, like this is like, you know, this like small thing or whatever. And then you next thing you know, you're like, whoa, like how did this come out of me? Like, how am I able to do this? Trust yourself. Don't listen to other people's stuff about that. Trust yourself and trust your feelings and trust your intuition. And don't let like the past and what's happened. Don't let any worry and negativity and anything get in the way of that. You know, trust you what you're doing. Trust this path. Everything is going to come together. You know, everything is going to come back into place. This needs to be taken care of. This needs to be addressed. This needs to be balanced out. And then everything else will balance out to it. Your relationship stuff, your emotional life, your your family life, everything is going to balance back out. But it's like something about going towards this thing regarding money or finances or stability or your work. I mean, and you're Capricorn, so you know what it is. Like, you're already, like, probably thinking about this, you know. But it'll be there, like, at the end of this month or, like, whenever you're watching this, it's coming up or it's already happening and you just need to, like, say yes and honestly, for some of you, your guides are like, you don't even have to say yes. It's already just going to happen. You're just going to be drawn to this to work. Like, it's just going to be so good for you. Like, it's just going to be so perfect and exactly what you needed. And it's just going to fit like a glove. Okay? I use the whole deck on you, Capricorn. Okay? I use the whole deck on you. This is, this is like a big energy. Well, happy birthday. <laughs> happy birthday you get a whole deck reading um sending you all so much love and care and i hope that you have an amazing beginning of your new year or whenever you're watching this i hope you're having you got exactly what you needed out of this reading and uh you can get a personalized reading if you want one please like and subscribe and thank you for tuning in